Boxing Opinions 100. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Leave your comment. <clears throat> Cyrus Patterson versus Chris Jenkins. Uh, this was a big step up for Cyrus Patterson according to Cyrus Patterson's boxing record. Uh, Chris Jenkins has a boxing record of 23-7-3 and, and Cyrus Patterson has a record of 6-0 and o with 4 KOs. But I think this is the updated version of their boxing record after their, they fight. So that means that you would have to take away a fight. But I've watched Cyrus Patterson uh, evolve in his boxing career since his debut. Because he's only, what, six fights in. So I, I think I've seen every single fight that Cyrus Patterson has had. Now, on the other hand, Chris Jenkins, I've maybe seen maybe uh, about the same, five or six fights of his, you know, when he came on uh, to the radar. But Chris, Chris Jenkins is a very good boxer, but has a lot of wear and tear from the kind of fights that uh, he's been in. But still, what I wanted to talk about was Chris Jenkins was the first person I've ever seen go to Cyrus Patterson's body. It was a good chance that Chris Jenkins could have won, won this fight, but it came down to a war of nutrition. If you watch this fight, you will see in the middle rounds from the body work of Chris Jenkins kind of weaken Cyrus Patterson compared to his other bouts where he just really just kind of blew through his opponents. But Cyrus Patterson uh, regained his second win uh, around about the seventh round. You can start to tell that he just started to back Chris Jenkins up and basically walk him down firing hard shots at him. He no longer threw anything lightly. Every shot was a knockout shot, so it was just a matter of time before one of them hit Chris Jenkins. But if this was a boxing fans fight, so if you have not seen this fight, go back and watch this fight. And this is Boxing Opinions 100, and I'm out.